Hello everyone! Did you study well at school? Here in the middle of the screen we have a really great algebra question. We have two times, we have parentheses, 2 plus 2 divided by 2 and what is the correct answer? Right here we have uh, three options. We have option A, option B and option C. So right now pause the video and let's test our school knowledge. Let's test our algebra skills right now. Pause the video and write your solution real quick down into the comment section and in a few minutes we will check your answer. So it will be, it will be really interesting. So here's three options. We have option A, option B and option C. So right now choose one and write your option down, write your solution down into the comment section. On the first side a lot of students might be saying, hey mister, this is the easiest question I ever seen. We have all the time two, we have two, two, two right here. So we have basic mathematical operations like addition right here. We have division right here. So on the first side and of course multiplication. Yeah, be behind between this parentheses into okay. And on the first side, a lot of students may be saying, hey, mister, this is like the basic question. We can easily solve it in a few seconds. We have basic multiplication, basic addition, basic, basic division. So I can easily solve it. But in the same way, a lot of students make this common mistake. A lot of students solve this question absolutely incorrect. So there are a lot of times of students but a lot of students solve this question like that they say okay right here we have addition so let's for example add it first we have one answer another part of students say okay we have right here division so they divide it first two divided by two we have completely different answer another part of students for example multiply right here at first so we could have completely and different answer. And as you can see, what makes all the difference in the world is the order we do this problem. Okay, do we do addition first? Do we do the division first? Maybe we can do like parentheses at first because we have right here parentheses and right here. So it, it goes into a big argument. A lot of students arguing with each other, but mm, we, they arguing about order of operations. So right now, let's try to figure out what is the correct order to perform these mathematical operators. Because what I mean right now in terms of like mathematical uh, order of mathematical operator, I mean the correct order to perform this thing well, uh, addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, sometimes parentheses, sometimes inner parentheses, yeah, sometimes like powers, yeah, something like that, and a lot of this, a lot of this stuff. So I mean right now we need to know what is the correct order to perform these mathematical operators. Uh, then we can easily say, okay, for example, multiplication first, division second, or parentheses third, yeah, then we can easily say as a rule that the correct order is the next. But right now let's try to figure out what is the correct order, because we can't perform it randomly, we can't uh, solve it, uh, for example, in a structure order from left to right, for example, addition first, subtraction second, division third. This is a bad, bad thing. So right now I'm going to show you a real quick stuff with this order of operation. This order of operation is called PEMDAS order of operation, but uh, maybe you live in the UK, in India, people there use BODMAS, which is absolutely the same thing because order of operation for these elements is absolutely the same for both for both cases. And uh, there is no like an English word PEMDAS. We're talking about a quick checklist. So each of these letters stand for something. For example, letter P stands for uh, parentheses. So we're talking about this type of parentheses, this type of brackets sometimes, these type of brackets, or or maybe fraction bar sometimes is a group and symbol. So we're talking about a group and symbol, yeah? In these parentheses, we group uh, elements and we need to evaluate this expression at first. Okay, so parentheses has the highest priority. What I mean highest priority? So the first step is to evaluate the expression inside parentheses. Every time we have a numerical expression, we need to scan it in terms of parentheses. We need to find these parentheses in our question, okay? So parentheses has the highest priority. After parentheses, we move forward to the next step. The next step is exponents. So we are talking about basic powers. Don't be scared about it. We are talking about, for example, 5 to the power 5, like 10 to the power 2. So we're talking about this thing, which is called which is called power. So we have right here and right here we have we have power. So I really hope you understand this step. Nothing hard. We just need to find a powers. For example, two to the power two. We need to evaluate this expression. Okay. After uh, after exponents, we move forward to the next step. The next step is multiplication. M stands for multiplication. D stands for for division. And why I name it at once? Because this is one common group. Okay. This one is one common group. Don't forget about it. It's not work like that. That we multiply it first, then divide, or divide it first, then multiply. And it works in in the next way. We need to perform it in a strict order from left to right. For example, we have three times 3 divided by 3, well, we need to perform it in a strict order from left to right. And here is the main rule. We need to find what is the first sign from left to right. In our case, this is multiplication, so we need to multiply. So as a result, we have 3 times 3 equal to 9. This is our first step. But in the reverse uh, case, we have 3 divided by 3 times 3, something like that, where division is first, not second, on the second position. And in this case, we need to divide it first, because this is the first sign which comes from left, from left to right. So we really hope you understand uh, about 
about this group so whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division we need to perform it in a strict order from left from left to right okay so this is one common group and multiplication division are type for priority Okay, and the last step is A stands for addition, S stands for subtraction, but in this point, uh, like people don't need order of operation at any point, because right here, this is very basic stuff. For example, we have 3 minus 2, we don't need this order of operation right now in this case, so we can easily solve it without order of operation. So it was a quick introduction about order of operations of the first step, parentheses, the next step, exponents, the next step, we should evaluate the expression with multiplication division signs, and the last step is addition and, and subtraction sign. And this is extremely important order of operation because this order will tell us what is the correct order to our question here is our question don't forget about it we have two and we have in play parentheses we have two plus two divided by two all right so right now how can i solve this type of question first of all i recommend you or let's use this one okay i erase all of this stuff from here because uh, if you don't have this uh, checklist you can easily write it at any point you can easily write it on the left side and it will be easier for you to solve it but i erase it real quick and we're going to, to look at this uh, from here okay so we know that priority from the left side is higher than priority on the right side so right now let's scan so i change my pen real quick and let's solve our our question so first of all our parentheses let's find let's scan our question in terms of parentheses we have three types of brackets but in 95 percent people use this one so right now let's scan our question where do we have parentheses let's do this uh, so parentheses we have right here okay really great so the first step we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses we need to find this value we need to find this const constant what it is a percent uh, parentheses expression equal to okay so it's really important points so right now we need to solve this question inside parentheses we have parentheses and right now let's solve this so in saying in other words we forget a little bit about this two right now we need to evaluate this expression and then we will multiply this expression inside parentheses by our by our two so let's forget a little bit about about this two and right now uh, let's forget a little bit about this two and right now let's solve this this expression this is our first uh, first step so what do we have two plus two divided by by two so right now we need to solve this expression we don't have any parentheses so right now we can easily looks like complete this part and we can easily in the same way we can easily skip this part because we don't have parentheses yeah we don't have it so right now we can easily move forward to the next step the next step is exponents and in our case we don't have exponents so in our expression we don't have exponents we don't have any powers looks like 2 looks like 2 cube looks like 2 to the power 2 yeah we don't have it so we can easily skip this exponents exponents part right now we have multiplication division part let's scan where do we have multiplication division sign yeah we don't have multiplication sign but we have division sign okay where do we have it of course we have it right here so let's do this so we need to divide at first so we have 2 plus 2 divided by 2 equal to equal to 1 and it's really important yeah we have we have division so it's it's really great we have we have division and we complete real quick this part we have two divided by two and the last step is addition we have we have addition after division and here's the key moment okay we need to perform division before addition so uh, saying in another words multiplication division group right here is all the time before addition subtraction so first of all we need to evaluate whenever we have okay whenever we have a mixture of multiplication whenever we have a mixture of multiplication division addition and subtraction we need to perform multiplication division first this is our first step and addition subtraction is our second step and in this case it works perfectly because right here we have mixture of multi uh, division and addition and we perform division first with imaginary brackets in our head we need to perform it first and the next step is two plus one equal to equal to three so our parentheses expression equal to three and the key moment i wanted to repeat it once more division is all the time before addition and uh, in general multiplication division may group is all the time before addition and and subtraction so division multiplication before addition and subtraction here's like the key the basic stuff in terms of like a basic algebra this is extremely important point right now and in conclusion we have three but three is our is our parentheses okay and it, it, we don't need this order of operation right now to multiply this two by this three okay we still have right here we have two so i don't have enough space but right now let's write this two right here and our parentheses equal to equal to three so as a result two times three 
let's write it right here, equal to equal to six. And this looks like this is a correct answer. So uh, I want to say you once more. So first of all, we need to scan it in terms of this quick checklist. Okay, we need to scan it in terms of parentheses. We have parentheses. Inside parentheses, we have a mixture of addition division. Division is all the time before addition. So we need to divide it first. Then we need to add it because we need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses. At first, we evaluate it. We have our three. And in conclusion, we have this can stand, which is which is uh, we don't need this constant to be honest we need to pay it we don't need to pay attention to this constant because this is like basic stuff we can easily evaluate this expression inside parentheses at first and then we can easily multiply it okay doesn't matter what we have right here for example 50 100 doesn't matter we can easily multiply it in conclusion like in the end okay so this is our six and let's go back to our question let's see maybe we have this option right here but as you can see we don't have this option we don't have this six and let me just erase all of this stuff and let's try to figure out what why we don't have six right here okay so we know that our answer is is six we solve it yeah and right now let's try to find our option so obviously this is not a obviously this is not b but it, obviously it looks like this is not c but if you look close this three factorial let's remember from school three factorial this is a product from one to three so we have one times two times three which is equal to we have right here, we have six, yeah? So our C, it looks like a correct answer. And here is the key moment, because when we solve it according to a correct order of operation, it's obviously that we will have a correct answer. But when we solve it with the wrong order, for example, when we add it first, for example, just imagine, like we add it first, so we have... 2 plus 2 equal to, let me just erase all of this stuff right here. So when we have at first division, so addition, sorry, 2 plus 2 equal to 4, yeah? And we have 4 divided by 2 equal to 2. And with this 2 in the beginning, yeah, we have 2 times these 2. And as a result, we have we have four and yeah of course we have this option and this is like the most common mistake a lot of students forget about it they say okay right here we have we have four divided by two right here we have these two so as a result we have four divided by two equal to two two times two equal to equal to four and a lot of students say okay we have our four this is a correct answer and in most cases people say that we don't have this six right here and they find uh, try to figure out another solution they try to find another way how can we solve this how can we solve this uh, type of question and they say okay maybe the addition first and then yeah we have this four this is our four right here but uh, when we solve this question like that when we say that the correct answer is four well we need to review a little bit your uh, basic math because this is a wrong solution to be honest with addition before division this is a huge mistake right here so we need to we need to forget about it we need to forget about this four which is which is extremely bad bad solution in our case and as i told before we solve it according to a correct order of operation and a correct answer in our case is is three factorial so we can easily be proud of ourselves we solve this question absolutely absolutely correct i don't know at, at any point uh, two will be correct answer i don't know exactly i did but maybe a lot of students say that b is a correct answer as well but i really hope you solve this question correct with me you understand why c is a correct uh, a correct answer and i really really hope you you understand my explanation and i really hope you uh, understand why correct answer is is C not A and not B. But well, when you choose the correct answer A, well, I hope you, I really hope you understand my explanation and I really hope you understand uh, why option A is wrong answer. So this is once more a correct order of operation to this question. You can easily see this right now. Parentheses first, division second, addition third, and this constant multiplying by this constant in the end, because this is very basic, very basic stuff. And our correct answer is uh, C. But, but try to be, uh, just be careful when you plug in this question in your in your calculator okay i want i hope you get a point right now because when we plug in this question in our calculator you know when you plug in for example uh, beginning when you plug in two times two you know some calculators work with problem as you type it in so for example you type in two you type parentheses and then you type these two and cal sometimes calculators gives you four instantly but to be honest we have a lot of stuff we have a division we have addition division we have two we have two so we have a lot of things right here so just be careful about it and here is the main advice try to plug in the whole entire problem and then click the equal button and then your calculator say okay okay what do i have right here i have multiplication i have parentheses i have addition i have a division right here i know what i have uh, 
overall I have a lot of stuff I have two to two, two addition division and then um, like 95 percent of calculators works according to PAMDAS order of operation and then a calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation so you don't need to be uh, worried about it so we have bottom mass or whatever order of operation and then a calculator in 99 percent of cases said that correct answer will be six okay so I really hope you understand this point right now so thank you for your time. You can also write your thoughts, write your comments down into the comment section, write your notes about this challenge and wish you all the best in your life. See you in the next videos and have a great day.